Hello, my name is Farzana Farahani, and I'm a project geophysicist here at Sequent, located in our Toronto office. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with 2D section viewer in Oasis Montage. Let's jump into Oasis Montage. As you see here, I have run some uh, inversions on my magnetic data, and I have the susceptibility model here. Once I click on my susceptibility model, there is an option called display in 2D section view. The 2D section viewer allows users uh, to view profile data and sections of voxels for visualization and interpretation purposes. As you see here, I'm connected to the um, predicted database made by Voxy. Um, I can display any profile uh, channel I would like. Here I have my predicted data. I can change the color of this profile to pink and I have the option to change the profile line style. Let's choose heavy for this profile and then if we have the error channel available, we can display the error channel if we want, as you see here. And then uh, I can connect to another channel, the second channel. Uh, here I have connected to my RMI data and I'm displaying it right now in blue. I can change it to green. Uh, for the profile line style, um, for this one, I'm going to, to use dashed. And uh, we have the option to change the data scaling. I'm choosing linear here. And also we can change the line scaling from uh, scale separately to same scale for all profiles or same dynamic range centered. We can always browse and connect to any voxel we would like to display um, and connect it to an active database. Uh, we have this option here to change the color tools. Um, here uh, we have the option to change to costume, linear, normal distribution, um, histogram equalization or log linear. Let's display our data in linear. Here, as you see, and as I go through my profiles, you'll see uh, how the sections change through the voxel and how it's connected to the database here. Another interesting option is that if the 3D view is linked to our database um, using this uh, linking option, we can see that where we are on our voxel as we change through our sections and profiles here. Similarly, you can connect to a map and if you have your data uh, line profiles shown on your map. Uh, you can see that uh, as I change um, through the profiles, I can navigate through the map as well. There's also this zooming option available. I can click and choose any window I would like to zoom in and this zooming option will be activated. I can always come back to the scale by choosing the rescale. Having access to 2D section viewer is not only through Voxy. You can have access to 2D section viewer through the section tools, 2D section viewer, and the same window will pop up for you. You can always browse to any voxel you would like to display. And also you can connect it to the predicted database and display your profiles. The other way to access to 2D section viewer is through the EM Utilities extension. Uh, if you go to interpretation under the EM Utilities, there is this 2D section viewer available. This window will pop up for me again and I'm able to navigate to uh, the voxel I would like to display. This is a 2.5D um, time domain EM inversion, so my data is time domain EM. I'm going to display it using like linear method and also I can connect again um, to my data. Uh, the interesting thing here is that we have this option um, that allows us to show profiles of selected array elements. 
I can choose between early times, late times or all times. So I'm choosing late times for example here. I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching.